Let's review the mission details. As you know, a terrorist group called Red Falcon has been carrying out limited strikes around the globe. We've confirmed reports they've set up shop on the main island of Galuga, following the meteor event earlier this year. The Federation immediately dispatched the GX Army, as they were in the vicinity for military exercises. They seemed to be making headway until three days ago, when we lost contact. You're kidding. Gen 10 is the strongest unit in the Federation Army. No way some fringe upstarts took him out. While it's still unconfirmed, we should assume the worst. Apparently the Red Falcon are more powerful than we realized. Speaking of which, our science division has some troubling intel of their own. Dr. Drake. The Federation's interstellar satellite network detected a gravity anomaly. Something on Earth emitting gravity waves strong enough to circle the planet. Their source coordinates align squarely on the Galuga Archipelago. This gives us reason to suspect the Red Falcon are developing gravity weapons. Gravity weapons? The Federation banned them decades ago. That's right, Lance. We can't risk destructive power of that magnitude falling into the wrong hands. My weapons division at Henriksen Industries confirms those readings are consistent with the components of a gravity bomb. Even just storing that thing improperly could cause tectonic shifts, climate disturbances, or worst case, a potential black hole. Bill, Lance, given the situation, I think it's clear why the Federation enlisted our EMC Contra unit. Your primary objective is to engage Red Falcon ground forces, confirm the source of those gravity waves, and disarm it. If at all possible, locate the GX Army and report back with their current status. There's a Red Falcon stronghold not far from your drop. Infiltrate the base and apprehend their lieutenant. His field intel will help determine our next move. A remote hideout missing super soldiers and a doomsday weapon. Hell of a Friday. Time to introduce ourselves. Hell yeah, brother! Take a moment to practice movement, jumping, and shooting. Doyle tells me all Contras can jump a second time in mid-air or dash horizontally. <laughs> Simply incredible! You can aim with more precision by holding down aim lock. One moment. We've accessed the weapon delivery network and we'll be sending frequent supply drops. Shoot a weapon pod to release its cargo. Experiment with a variety of weapon types. Chopper's taken enemy fire. It's going down. That's strike one. It's all three by my count. You can hold a primary and secondary weapon. Swap between them strategically. Weapons have a secret overload function. You can 
sacrifice your active weapon for a powerful attack or strategic effect. Try the overload function now. I'll send a replacement weapon immediately. Known Contra had arrived when the entire jungle caught fire. <laughs> it's been a while, Bill. What are you doing here? We're here to save your ass. If the EMC was gonna stick its nose in this operation, they could have at least have sent a small army. Looks like the small army couldn't handle it. So here we are. <laughs> I suppose so. At any rate, stay alert. These guys aren't messing around. What's the sit rep iron side? Where are your guys? I lost contact on running advanced recon. Probably signal channels or something. I'm not worried. Put that in your head. I'll keep in touch. Just in case things get too hot for you, Connor. I heard Stanley's update. Let him worry about the GX army. You two focus on finding the enemy base. Roger that. Entry point, uh, <clears throat> located. We clear to proceed, Commander? Copy that. Falcon is obviously on alert, but we haven't seen anything unexpected. Apologies, Commander. We should discuss the chopper attack. Yeah, we should. How'd they get a missile past our sensors? That's it exactly. It wasn't a missile. What? Whatever it was, our scans indicate organic matter. Organic? What exactly does this mean, then? It means we have a good opener when we find the guy in charge. I'm ready if y'all are. Resume the mission. Locate Red Falcon's lieutenant for questioning. We'll update when we know more. Over and out.
search the lab faster on one of these hover bikes. They haven't decommissioned this model yet. One of them. Not anymore. Explain. N name is Bradley. I'm just a merc, you know? Signed up for some easy money, but these guys are terrorists, man. The other guys were brainwashed or something. They're like freaking zombies. But not you? I guess I'm different. They locked me up for some weird experiments. That's why I'm getting out. Now! So how about it? Can you get me off this island? Please? With your training, you might be able to help us. No way! You don't understand. Someone let me out! They're trying to kill me! I gotta get out of here! <laughs> Sniper? <laughs> See? Thanks for the help, but I gotta get out of here! Well, good luck, Bradley. Enough enemies, and the bonus pot indicator will appear below your health bar. If you need a weapon, give me a call, and I'll send it right away.
much information out of them now. tougher than I thought. to HQ, do you copy? Little update, the lieutenant turned into some kind of monster. We're here, Major. Sounds like Red Falcon is using biological weapons technology. On the positive side, we located their data hub, and Lance is hacking it now. That's generous phrasing. If anyone at HQ has suggestions, I'm not above asking for help. Looks like you're in. We'll begin analyzing the data.
There's another facility north of your current location, just past the local village. This data suggests it's a laboratory, our best shot at information regarding those gravity waves. Village? Can't still be civilians there, right? Officially, they evacuated after the meteor shower, but we already know that report is less than accurate. Don't love the sound of this. Heads up. I'm accessing security footage of an unknown operative. You boys aren't alone. We'll be careful. Regardless, we'll head for that village and let you know if we find anything out of the ordinary. Lock and load. And a pinata.
We meet at last. You're the two warriors who've been tearing through my men. You the guy in charge of Red Falcon? I am Baramis, the vanguard bringing order and justice to this planet. Just had to post about this island vacation first, huh? And who are you, two soldiers, to stand against my unstoppable forces? We're Contra, the Earth Marine Corps' finest. Contra? Is that so? Leave this island! <laughs> well then, Contra, I will look forward to our next meeting. She shouldn't face him alone. I mean, we were headed that way already. Bet you could climb right up those rock walls by jumping onto them. One moment.
than that. I highly recommend taking a special weapon into battle. In desperate situations, overloading a weapon just might save your life. from beyond the stars. I tried to warn you. Hey, you're the kid from before. What are you doing here all alone? I am Ariana. My people protected this island for thousands of years. After the meteors fell, the village was attacked. I've assumed my tribe's sacred mission. Then that man, Varanis... Not a man, but yes. He is a being from another world who arrived that night. He controls the Red Falcon soldiers, as if they'd lost wills of their own. You catching all this, Doyle? I am indeed. Commander, this is the situation we were afraid of. I'll continue my investigation in the field. Understood, Lucia. Try to link up with our Contras once you arrive. Where's Varanis now? He was too fast. I lost him in the climb. That big ugly monster came out of there. No telling what else is going on. Riser is correct. For the time being, your mission is unchanged. See if there's any leads on gravity weapons in the lab. I'm coming with you. Sure, kid. It's gonna get gnarly in there. It's not any safer out here. I don't think we have a choice. But don't let her out of your sight. Sheesh. Ray graduates academy and you're already adopting another one, huh? Relax, Pops. This isn't Uncle Bill's first rodeo. There's no time to waste. You heard the kid.
Their days are numbered. Hi, Ariana. I'm Daniel Henriksen. Watch that footage of you in the village just sliding past bullets. You're amazing. Uh, are you with those two men? Not quite. I'm here on orders from Explo. You're all outsiders. I have no reason to trust any of you. Contra, Explo, these names mean nothing to me. The two are more connected than you think. Contra could not exist without Explo. 
I suspect you have some interest in this island. Beyond those. Afraid I can't really say. But Varanus poses an interstellar threat to our planet. So x -Flow is very interesting. Evaluating that threat is why we're all here, remember? Time to get back to the mission. We will remain allies. For now. I suspect gravity weapons are only the beginning. If you find any information, radio in. Gravity weapons? What does that mean? Sorry if I'm late. Impressive work, though. Commander Doyle, I've accessed the Red Falcon system. You ready, Daniel? Opening a transfer into the Federation's network... now. I hear you. Running analysis. This seems promising. Data regarding an object with massive energy readings. This could be the X-Type artifact. We hypothesized it could be somewhere on the island. Meaning, the gravity anomaly was no weapon at all. Lucia, you must locate the X-Type artifact. I'm well aware of the implications. Hey, X-Flow. Care to share with the rest of the class? What's an X-type artifact? Our data indicates it's an extraterrestrial object brought to Earth thousands of years ago. There's a lot we don't know, but it definitely houses an incredible amount of energy. Enough to cause those readings. If it's on Galuga, it's likely what Varanus is after. Ariana, does this look familiar to you? That is the Lemris. What my people call the Seed of the Gods. It's why we must defend the island. It's sealed in a sacred temple deep in the mountains. Only a few of my tribe are able to open gate. But after my village was attacked, they're gone. The Lemris. We need to at least try, before Varanus finds a way in. Even with Ariana's help, crossing that mountain range on foot would take days. Come in. Do you copy? 
Damn it, Razor, where are you? We copy, Stanley, but we're a little busy at the moment. I found the GX Army. We've been fighting monsters. I could really use some extra firepower. Monsters? Yeah, turns out Galuga has a real alien problem. My men collapsed, like they've been shut off. Falcons loaded them onto a train and are transporting them into the mountains. What the hell? So, you guys up for a rescue mission? Train, huh? Sounds like we found our ride. Sending our coordinates. You saw the readings, gentlemen. We now know without a doubt that we are under threat of an alien invasion. Does this warrant reopening the G initiative? This scenario is the reason the protocols exist. I'm afraid the underlying technology still eludes us. In early trials, that is. We'll need Henriksen's finest minds dedicated to the project. Yes, of course. Hmm. Approaching drop. I'm gonna see what I can manage for the run. Let's meet in the middle. Good luck. Two uh. zombie bastards on my way. The G Hex on is gone. Another hand? Like hell are we piggybacking up and down this thing? You keep the sky safe. We'll go low.
You're the mercenary they encountered before. Ugh. Damn it! What is it? I I'm fine. I stopped to rest and they grabbed me and shoved me into this train. It's real bad, man. The train is packed with soldiers. Standing room only. I'm a sitting duck here. Earlier you mentioned a sniper. I'm telling you. Ah! How did they get up here?
lay down cover fire. Nice of you to join us. I'm not gonna get taken out by some stupid insects. This is the temple your tribe was protecting? For thousands of years, only chosen warriors from our tribe were able to pass through this gate. It's still closed. That means we got here before Varanus. We should get inside then. Wait! Only those chosen by Lemris can unseal the gate. True warriors who would stand against great darkness. Anyone else dies. Huh. That was close. If this Lemris artifact really is inside, we need to secure it. True warriors chosen by Lemris. All right, Contras, care to test a theory? This is our cue, huh? Hey, Lemris, open up. <laughs> that actually worked? Theory my ass. How much does x -Flow actually know? Afraid that's top secret. For now, Varanus cannot reach the Lemris. Incredible. Let's attack aggressively.
door, but they're still shooting him. Fake it.
done well to come this far. Who the hell are you? We've met once before. That's not fair. Wrong answer, Dal. But first, prove you are worthy to enter these sacred halls. Awakened as a Contra. You know my name? Of course. I am Beowulf, the first human Contra and guardian of the Lemris. My spirit resides within the Lemris, waiting to guide those who have awakened. First human Contra. Then you are the progenitor of the Contra gene. Contra gene? This guy was a statue five minutes ago. This is the focus of my research at Xflo. It's a genetic sequence found in warriors with preternatural abilities, like you and Lance. We realized that something, an X-type artifact, was influencing human evolution, altering our genome in this specific way. Based on ancient writings across several cultures, these unique warriors seemed to be called Contra and were referenced alongside an alien civilization. I theorize that this civilization must have sent the artifact, which we now know was Lemris, for the purpose of creating Contra. To continue our research, Xflow formed a special unit in the EMC for soldiers found to have the Contra gene. Makes us sound like a cosmic experiment. As you said, Lemris has been influencing the souls of humanity since ancient times. I've watched over Earth since the dawn of civilization, waiting for warriors who could be deemed Contra. Contra is a quality bestowed by the Lemris on behalf of the soul. To be chosen is to become a guardian, a protector. The soul? Are they the beings who created the Lemris? This is the missing piece of the puzzle. Eons ago, across the cosmos, two races waged a terrible war. On one side, the Zagard, a cruel empire seeking to assimilate all sentient life into their hive mind. Opposing them stood Sol, a civilization who considered free will to be sacred. However, the Zagard's cunning threatened to overcome the soul. So they placed their legacy inside the Lemris and concealed it on Earth. My people died protecting Lemris. Why is Varanus after it? The Lemris contains the totality of soul's knowledge and history. If it is destroyed, they will be wiped from existence. Lemris can also manipulate gravity. Zagard's primary means of intergalactic travel is to open wormholes and use folding space to instantly cross great distances. However, 
Lemris creates a protective gravitational field around Earth, preventing wormholes from opening within it and making a full-scale Zagar invasion impossible. A force field around Earth? Lemris is definitely the cause of those gravity readings. Varanis wants to steal power from Lemris by draining it of energy. Once the shield is gone, Zagard forces can mount a full-scale invasion. If you cannot protect the Lemris, all is lost. Beowulf, tell us, where is the Lemris? Seek the altar. Looks like someone forgot to shut the door behind him. What the hell? No! I should thank you. Those wretched souls made it impossible for anyone to open this temple. Except for Contra, that is. Varanus! Should've known that wasn't Stanley. He seemed almost likable. I'm glad you were able to speak with Beowulf before I secured the Lemris. So you can comprehend the totality of your defeat. <laughs> no! You cannot! You heard the man. This is our show now.
Varanus disappeared with the Lemras. No way he's waiting around for us. He's taking that ball and going home. Ariana. Any idea where his base of operations is? No. Commander Doyle, do you copy? We could use satellite support. We're too far underground. Hang on. This giant space robot burrowed its way into the temple from somewhere. We can follow the tunnel! But it leads right to his doorstep. Worth a shot? Looks like break time's over. Explains where all those aliens came from. did a number on your reputation. Catch your breath and meet us up ahead when you can. It's about that time. Time for revenge? Careful, you sound like a Contra.
Oh god! I thought I wasn't gonna make it. Wasn't expecting to run into you here. Thanks, but I just gotta get off this island. Sure. These aliens are a lot more than you bargained for. Get as far away from here as you can. Aliens? What the hell? Not sure if you can hear us, Command, but this is Riser calling in. We've located Varanus and are about to enter his ship. The Lemris is in his possession, and securing it is our primary objective. If Varanus succeeds, nothing will stand between the Zagard Empire and the destruction of Earth. I will not let that happen. You heard the lady. We're getting this handled. Talk soon. Over and out. I have always been impressed with your Hercules. 
Lee's armor, Stanley. Certainly one of Henriksen's crowning achievements, specifically upper grapple. I had hoped to see you again. You've proven to be worthy adversaries indeed. You impersonated the wrong guy, you son of an alien bitch! I too regret debasing myself in your human shape. Though it was a necessary step in the service of Sagard's triumph. As soon as the Lemris is drained of power, the full might of Zagard will descend upon this rock. Your leaders will fall, your women will mourn, your children will weep. Then, as the cleansing flames fade to embers, silence. A shame you will fall here. Never witnessing the glorious Zagard Empire! You wanted all that? You should have never crossed my men! <laughs> Come, Contra. Let ours be the first battle of Zagard's triumph! to proliferate through the cosmos. Die already. You will follow me into the void, Contra. <laughs> he overloaded the system. Can we stabilize it? If we can't, all the energy drained from Lemris will be released in a single blast. One strong enough to knock the Earth off its orbit. I could shoot the core. No! no! Huh? I have something that might divert. What the hell is it now? On the radar. Right! You read us! 
Guardian left, but they were growing in the lab. But without Varanus to control it! Damn! Guess we missed one! Gonna kick this thing's ass from the inside!
on the lemmers. You're in charge of that. We'll keep the big guy occupied. Be careful. Come on, who are you talking to? I knew you'd pull through. Climb inside. Let's get out of here. Commencing return flight. Hold on. Lucia's still out there. Lucia, what's your status? Come in, damn it! Bad news. Varanus's device is spiraling out of control. If things continue, all the energy drained from Lemris will be released. God damn it! This is the wormhole generator function. If I activate it, Yes, Lucia. Enough energy remains in the Lembrus to generate a portal to another world. If I pull this off, I can redirect the dangerous energy into space. You must already know this, but when the wormhole opens, you will also. There's no other choice, Beowulf. This is the logical conclusion. Wait, don't!
Well done, everyone. That is mission complete. You have successfully defeated the spearhead invasion forces of the Zagar Empire. Another global catastrophe has been avoided. Commander Ironside, we're grateful for your assistance. I'm told a new unit is being formed following the loss of the GX army. You've been called upon to lead it. That is much appreciated, sir. I assure you the Force will surpass Contra before you know it. <laughs> Looking forward to it. The Federation is also gathering a relief team. As soon as the area is safe, they'll begin reconstructing Galuga's ecosystems. I will return as well. I must locate the Lemris and return it to the temple. My mission is not over. Perhaps I will find Lucia as well. I'm sorry to say, her status remains unconfirmed. Nothing conclusive from our satellites yet, but the wormhole left behind a lot of distortion. Lucia's not dead. No way. Lucia's always got a backup plan. She'll find a way home.
You aren't going to shoot him? No, it's too late. He's already imprinted on Bill and Lance. We genetically remapped him for one purpose. Eliminate Contra. Time for Plan B. <sighs> Dr. Drake, I'm sorry about what happened to Lucia. We will continue to put in all our efforts to find her. All that can wait. Look at these results. Negative. Every last scan. Negative! This is a critical situation. The energy wave produced by Lemris is gone. In all probability, the energy has depleted completely. The gravity shield will disappear. <laughs> 